All right, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to our beginner uh, guide here. So we're in day four now, and the uh, object of this one, we didn't get to finish the acorn or grub armor in the last one. So we're going to go ahead and try to do that. We need some more grub hides, and uh, I think we're set on making the acorn armor. We're going to go head back over near the oak tree, see if we can't get some more grub hides, and then um, we should have enough raw science now to purchase the smithing station, and that's going to be kind of a game changer early on here and we want to get into uh, making some new weapons if we can and then uh, touch on combat a little bit so that's the general idea of uh, our third installment here of the beginner's guide so let's see what we can do so hopefully you guys have uh, learned quite a bit from the tips if you're still a new player or uh, if you're an experienced player and just haven't started over in a while and you're looking at the progression and stuff like that hopefully these will uh, be helping you out so I want to make sure that uh, we're gonna go check and make sure that the wolf spiders are hopefully sleeping. It's early morning again, so it's seven ten in the morning. We do have nighttime that we can do some stuff too. I know these are. Uh, what are you doing in there? It looks like at least one is in there sleeping, which means the other one may be walking around somewhere. So we don't really want to mess with the wolf spiders yet because the armor that we do have. Is not conducive to uh, success. But we need these grub hides, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump forward for you guys while I uh, get these grub hides and I'll see you back at the base. Or actually, I'll see you over with Burgle. We're gonna go into the smithing station, so we'll be right back. Alright, everybody, so we're back over here at Burgle. It looks like we should have enough grub hides now, so we're gonna see if we can't pick up a few more quests and, more importantly, purchase the uh, smithing station. So, right here, smithing station early on, very useful. This is how we're gonna upgrade our weapons and uh, basically do more damage. So, we're buying that right off the bat. 2500 raw science. See if we can pick up some more. So, we're gonna have to craft a repair tool, and then we have our jungle temple burgle chip. So we got two burgle chest quests right now. And while we're in here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump down here and collect all this quartzite. And then we'll see you guys back at the base. We'll get our acorn armor crafted, grub armor crafted, also a canteen, which is super useful. So we'll be right back. All right, everybody. So we're back over here. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can't uh, craft the acorn armor and the grub armor. And we'll show you guys what the difference is. And then uh, from here, you guys will be able to... Make your pick on whether you want the heavier armor, so you want to go defense, or if you want the uh, the faster armor, which is going to basically allow you to have more stamina. One's got max health bonus, and one's got max stamina bonus, so we craft these crude ropes real quick. And last one. Okay. So we're going to go acorn face mask and grub goggles. We're going to go acorn chest plate, and we need three dry grass, not bad. We can get that. So at this point, you guys should uh, be relatively well off um, in terms of what you need weapon-wise and armor-wise after we get this acorn and grub armor. And then from there, we're going to start uh, getting into a little bit of combat because some of the other insects are actually going to be able to provide better weapons and better armor depending on what you're trying to do. All right, so what did we craft so far? I already forgot. Let me go ahead and throw this uh, quartzite in here real quick. We're running out of room. And then, uh... Throw all this stuff in here. Okay, so we've got the acorn face mask. We've got the acorn chest plate, chest piece. Got a bunch of food now. Like I said, anytime you kill the grubs, you're going to get a ton of food. That's why we do multiple roasting spits, because as of right now, your food will not spoil on the roasting spits. Okay, so we need the grub vest, and then we need the uh, acorn leg plates, grub leggings. We need more dry grass. Okay, not a problem. We're right over here. So I said this beginning area is going to have the majority of the resources you need, and as you branch out, you'll start finding different resources for different things. So we're just trying to get you guys squared away right at the beginning. So that's our grub vest. Grub armor is complete, so we need the grub leggings, correct? And there we go. 
So now we've got both sets of armor. As you can see right here, acorn armor is going to have, uh, they're both going to have the same defense, basically one and a half bars right here. Acorn armor is heavy, while the grub armor is medium. And you can see each one, each piece of the acorn armor is going to provide you with a max health bonus. And then when you get into the armor, you're also going to have set bonuses. So you go over here to your OS. We're going to go to uh, your armor and gear. Keep going down. Go to effects. So the effect for this one, you can see right here, your set bonus. It's going to tell you right here on your uh, statuses. As well as you, if you check your status page right here, it's going to show you. So we have a uh, blocking strength on our weevil shield. We have max health, more max health on our gear. And then heavy armor. This is the caveat right here. So heavy armor, once your uh, stamina drains, it takes a little bit longer for heavy armor um, for your stamina to regen. So that's something to think about. And then right here, uncrackable. So the set bonus for um, acorn armor is uncrackable, which makes it more difficult for enemies to stun you. So that's one caveat right there. Again, you can see what it looks like. Pretty nice. Now we can look at the grub armor. Same defense, but grub armor as opposed to max health is going to have max stamina and it's medium armor. So it's really not going to have any effect on your stamina regen. It's going to be right in the middle. And then your set bonus for this one is optimized of offense. Attacking uses less stamina. So basically while you're attacking, your stamina is not going to deplete as much as it normally would um, from using a different kind of armor. So... We're going to go with the grub armor right here since the defense is the same. Stamina is going to be one of the most important things you can um, need in the game. So we're going to go ahead and put these ones. We'll throw these in here as well as our aphid slippers. <coughs> Excuse me. We've got some, um, some food that's going to spoil. That's all right. Go ahead and get these in here too. And now we're going to be ready for combat. We'll just go ahead and throw everything in here for now. I'm not worried about. We'll clean it up later. So, we got some food and water. Can we make another torch? We might need one of those. We need two crude rope and three dry grass chunks, or uh, another dry grass chunk. So, again, you're constantly going to need resources. So it's better if you just go out, spend a day collecting all the resources you can get. That way you don't have to stop every time and uh, come get more. We're also going to need one of these guys, so we're going to go ahead and cut this down. Wait for our stamina to regen here. You'll see the dry grass is going to be like those strips of grass it looks like, or it can just be uh, a stem like this. Just uh, light brown instead of the green. Go ahead and, uh, oh, we're good there. Pick up all this dry grass. Craft our crude rope real quick. And then we need to check on what we need for the smithing station. So we'll have the weed stem. We should have, we'll need more crude rope. Smithing station early on. We're day four getting it. It's going to be super useful, uh, like I said, and upgrading our weapons for getting into combat because the idea, we're going to go try to take on some ladybugs if we can and then uh, some larvae as well. So we can get maybe another piece of armor or another set of armor, rather, and then uh, some new weapons. Craft more crude rope here. I think we'll need seven total, so we'll have eight. Double check this again. Should have the sap, and we'll grab one weed stem here. And again, you'll see all the weevils that are over here trying to get that one mushroom. Let's get our 10 quartzite and 2 sap. And now we'll craft our smithing station. If we can get it somewhere here. That'll work. We'll just get it made. So now we'll be able to upgrade our weapons. So one thing I'm going to upgrade right now is my bow. And it's going to go from level 1 to level 5. You're going to have to use quartzite. So we have 64 shards here. Actually, let's not upgrade that. Let's go ahead and uh, upgrade our spear. We're going to go with level 3 on that. We're going to get our spiky sprig and see if we can upgrade this guy. 3, 4, okay. 
We'll go ahead and upgrade them both to level four. So it gives us a little bit of a bonus. You'll see, you saw right there with uh, upgrading it. So our damage, our damage right now is plus 20% for level four. Same thing for this. Now, once you get to level um, seven and above, you'll be able to start enhancing it with some of the different candies in the game. But for beginner purposes right now, we're just looking at quartzite and uh, upgrading these weapons that we have right now. So what we can do now is uh, craft a canteen. That was the other thing we're going to look at. So each canteen is going to be able to hold um, two pieces of liquid. So whether it's juice or soda or... Uh, I took that out of our hot bar. Juice or soda or just water, dew collected from the grass. You'll be able to collect... Be able to uh, carry something with you to go while you're to drink rather sorry getting a little uh, sidetracked here so we're gonna go ahead and um, get these all sorted out and it is four o'clock in the afternoon so we need to get going all right throw this grass in here got our canteen we've got our grub armor for stamina same defense as acorn armor so we're going to look for something to drink here. And that water drop disappeared. Nice. Okay, we're going to go steal one of the drinks here from our water container. So we'll fill up on that and then uh, we'll find some dew drops like right here. To fill up our canteen. So go ahead and equip that by pressing F on the keyboard if you're using keyboard. And all you got to do is uh, press E to scoop that up. So now we've got one drop in there. Here's another one right here. All right, we'll go ahead and equip our canteen again. And there we go, excuse me. So now we've got some water with us on the go, so we don't have to worry too much about looking out for uh, grass and stuff like that. So now we still not, still don't have a lot of mutations, but uh, one thing we can do is go look for a larva. And we can also go look for some red ants to fight as well. Let's head back to our base. That's not where we want to go. There's a ladybug right over here. That could be a little tough right now. So I want to see if we can just uh, find a larva. You'll be able to find larva over here off to the east of the mysterious machine and then south of the oak tree. The biggest thing you can learn in combat is perfect blocking. So perfect blocking is going to be your best friend. And it's all about timing. So once you're able to fight, once you fight enough insects, you'll learn their uh, attack patterns. And then you'll be able to adjust accordingly. Let's see if this is a larva right here. This sounds like a grub. But we'll definitely take that grub hide. Now you can hear her. This is a grub as well. Like I said, you can tell by the sounds they make. So these are a little softer rumbling underground. Whereas the larva sounds more like a bowling ball twirling around under, underground there. We'll see if we can find one and dig one up. Here's one right here. So you see when they rear back like that, that's when you know they're attacking. We've also got this mite in here as well, so kill that guy. So now we've got one larva spike. I'm pretty sure we have one back at the base as well, but we'll look for one more. So you kind of see their attack patterns. They kind of rear back off to the side a little bit. They also rear straight back as well. Let's see if we can find one more. And you notice the different sound they make. It sounds like a grub, I believe. There is a little larva den right over here. You see these two uh, two leaves kind of propped up against each other. Just off to the side of them right here, you'll see a little cave. Now, I don't recommend going in there right now because we're a little uh, underprepared. But you can see their attack pattern. He's kind of getting here. There you go. So once you block at the right time, then uh, you'll block their attack and you won't take any damage. And then you can kind of counter with your own attack. We got hit pretty hard there, so we're going to go ahead and repair. <clears throat> so that's going to be our larva blade that we'll be able to craft here. 
And we're gonna go use that on uh, on some red ants and see if we can't uh, get ourselves a red ant club. Basically, the larva blade's a stronger version of uh, your slashing weapon, so it's gonna be better than a dagger. It's gonna be your first sword of the game, really. So it's one-handed, you can use a shield with it. And then the uh, red ant club is basically gonna be a beefier, harder hitting version of the uh, spiky sprig here. So let's get up here, larva blade, boom. So now, because I believe that's a uh, better option for us than the... Let's go ahead and see if we can save one of these. Get it on here and cook it. It's a better option than the Peblet Spear. This normally. We can go ahead and compare the stats here. So the damage on the Peblet Spear is 1, even at level 4 tough. It's super fast. This is going to be the same. And this is not even uh, this isn't even upgraded at all, but it does provide a poison. So that poison is going to be a dot or a damage over time. So we're actually going to use this instead and get that poison uh, poison off as well. So we'll go ahead and throw that in here. We'll go ahead and dump all this stuff again. And I'll clean this up later. But right now we're just trying to get stuff done for the uh, for the guide here. So now. We've got that, and over the course of time, the more you use a weapon, you'll unlock different mutations as well. So let's go see. He, go ahead and see if we can uh, save this weevil here from this ant. So he's not even paying attention to us. Now he's gonna run away, and you see the poison right there. He blew up because that poison, uh, the poison affected him. Let's we'll save up our stamina here. We completely missed that combo. And miss again. So you see their attack pattern is different as well. So each insect is going to have its own attack pattern. These guys kind of rear back, but it's a little difficult to see. Sometimes it'll be a delayed jump back. Let's see if the poison gets this guy as well as he runs away. Yep, poison got him. So we got five red ant parts now. Now the red ant hill is going to be right over here as well. And this is where you're going to find some of the soldier ants. And soldier ants early on are important right now because if we're trying to get the red ant club, we need some red ant mandibles. And those only come from killing the uh, soldier ants. You won't get those from the worker ants. So sometimes you can find them uh, running around solo, which is our ideal case. We don't want to be fighting multiple soldier ants or... Uh, or have a bunch of worker ants come and join as well. So we're going to go ahead and shoot this guy with a bow. Or one of these guys and see if we can just get him solo. So we're going to kind of trail him over here if we can. You see that? You get that perfect block off. It'll really help you early on. And to practice that, uh, you can go just try to get perfect blocks on your um, on mites or some smaller insects like that that are aggressive. But basically, to be able to get it on each insect, you're gonna want to fight more of that that insect. So one of the things you can do when you're first trying to get used to it is just kind of kind of guess when you think they're going to hit and then click your uh, click your block button so you'll you'll kind of hear these uh, worker or the soldier ants kind of hiss a little bit and then they'll jump back a little bit and then you'll be able to continue your attack if you don't get a perfect block don't worry about it just try to get a block because you see if they if they hit you Especially these soldier ants, they're going to be able to do a lot of damage. The bad thing about that, though, is if they if you block too much while they're attacking, then uh, you will get stunned. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy, and then uh, get out of here because they they're calling for backup. So we got a few mandibles, we got some heads, we got some or heads, we got some parts. So it's time to get out of here. So just a little bit of a breakdown of the combat. Uh, we will, if we can get the red ant club, we'll go see if we can mess with the ladybug, which will probably take us into day five. It's already almost nine o'clock here. 
but we should be able to make the red ant club. I'm not too sure. I don't remember what else we're going to need for it. Two crude rope, of course. So we're going to go snag some plant fiber, make some crude rope Just real quick, and then we'll get this ant club made. And we'll go ahead and compare that to the uh, spiky sprig. Obviously, the red ant club is going to be a two-handed weapon, like I said. It's going to do more damage, but the, uh, the speed is going to be uh, a lot lower. But you will have that option of whether you want to use a two-hander or a one-hander with a shield. Typically, I carry one of each. Um, your inventory is not going to get too overcrowded by having that. So we'll get those done and then show you guys the, uh, the differences. You can see it right here. So we got uh, three and a half damage, three and a half stun, and half a bar of uh, speed there. And this one is going to be two damage and three stun. So a little bit of an upgrade, but it's a, it goes a long way. So we'll go ahead and make that. We are going to throw our spiky sprig in here. And again, that's not even upgraded. The uh, spiky sprig was up upgraded to level four. So we've got those done. Need to drink some water, so we'll go ahead. If you want, throw your uh, I mean, canteen on your hot bar. Bottled water is. I don't really do it, but every every player is going to play differently. So it's 9:30. I really don't want to deal with the uh, wolf spiders walking around or something. So we're going to go ahead and probably hit morning time into day five and see if we can't go find a ladybug, or we'll try out a ladybug. So we'll be right back here. Anyone else tired? Just me. So again, now our food and uh, water is down again, so we'll have to refill those. Oh, that's pretty good. Eat those up. These have all spoiled, obviously, but we do have some that are still good here. So we'll replace those, get more food on the uh, roasting spit. Get this hot bar assigned here. See if we can't find some dew. We got one right here, but if we knock that one down, it's gonna fall into the uh, into the water here, and we can't get it. So we're gonna see if we can't uh, park for up here and snag this. And I think we did. So nice. And then we'll jump up on this uh, dry grass here and get that one. Typically in the morning, you'll have a lot easier time finding the uh, the dew. So just uh, remember that. All right. So now let's go look for a ladybug. And if we can, actually. We're going to go kill two weevils so we can repair our shield. So it only takes two raw weevil meat to repair the weevil shield. So while you're using that, you're going to be using the weevil shield for a while. So as you're running around, if you notice it's a little dinged up and you're going to go do some fighting, you're going to want to kill some weevils on the way. Little Carls, as I call them. Because they remind me of the old guy from, uh, from the Disney movie Up, or Pixar movie Up. They just look like little old guys uh, running around trying to get their way through life. So just remember that when you're killing them, you're probably killing some uh, innocent little old guy. But for the greater good, for the cause of us uh, surviving, it's necessary. All right, so we're going to go try to hunt down a ladybug. And if we can find one, we'll get into combat and then we'll wrap this video up. So we'll be right back once we find a ladybug. All right, so we hear a ladybug right over here. One thing I wanted to touch on real quick with the uh, armor and weapons. So when they do take damage, their durability is going to go down. So you can repair them. This one's not uh, beat up, but you can see, we'll look at the grub armor and what it takes to repair. So you're going to look down here, R, repair. So for the goggles, it takes one grub hide. And then for the chest piece, it's going to be two grub hides and one grub goop. And then for your leggings, two grub hides and one dry grass. So, uh... Again, just something to be wary of. We already touched on the shield requiring two weevil meat. The red ant club, I believe, is going to require at least one red ant mandible. And then uh, your larva blade here is going to require at least one larva blade and I think a quartzite. So that's why it's really important to have quartzite and uh, just some of those extra bug parts laying around. Now, where did our ladybug get off to? There she is. Okay. So before we engage her, one more thing to touch on real quick, and that's going to be our mutations. You saw we unlocked a cardio fan, a mutation. Um, this one really doesn't do a lot for you, especially this early stage. It says hyper stamina, which uh, tells you that your stamina is going to regen a lot faster. There's been testing on it, and it doesn't really do too much. But we also unlocked Parry Master Level 1, for uh, or Phase 1, 
for getting those perfect blocks. So basically this is going to give you a better chance of perfect blocking. So the more you perfect block, you unlock this and you get it to phase three, it's going to increase that window of time that you have to perfect block. So we went ahead and threw that one on. We still got uh, natural explorer for the quickness for our mutations right now. And uh, so we're going to go check out this ladybug with our red ant club and see if we can uh, take her down. All right, so here we go. So you want to avoid her attacks. She's got one. Ooh, see that one hurt really bad right there. So we get that perfect block on. She's got that little charge. Then she's got that side attack. And then she also has a scream, which she didn't get off right there. She'll also do a scream, which I believe uh, regenerate, regenerates her health. So we've got another one right here. We've got four ladybug parts. Now this is going to help you uh, craft the ladybug armor. So we'll get a little tricky here and see if we can't take out another ladybug. Make sure our surroundings are pretty safe. No larva or anything going to jump in. And here we go. So again, if you can't get the perfect block, at least make sure you are getting a block off. And then you guys will be good to go. It's going to take some time to get used to their attacks, but the more you fight them, again, the, e the easier it's going to be to, uh, to know how they fight. So, All right, we covered uh, the smithing station, upgrading our weapons. We got acorn armor. We got grub armor. We uh, got a new red ant club. We got a larva blade. So we got the canteen. We covered a lot in this one, even though it seemed like a short amount of time, but we got a lot done. It did bleed over into day five because it took a while for me to get some uh, grub hides, but this is just giving you a better uh, better idea of the progression of the game. So obviously you're going to start with the basic weapons and you're going to move up to the Red Ant Club, Larva Blade, um, new bows and uh, new arrows and stuff like that. Just make sure you're repairing your weapons, repairing your armor, and uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. So hopefully you guys are learning a lot from this little series here we're doing. Uh, if you're a newer player or you just haven't played the game in a while and you're getting back into it. So let me know in the comments below if this is helping you out. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for a lot more tips and tricks videos that we've got on the channel. I think over like 200 grounded videos. So we know a little bit about what we're doing. So thank you guys so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. So stay original, my friends. Later.